What's going on everybody? I hope you guys are having a great day as always. Today's video, we're gonna go ahead and go over the Caraboter uh, digital dash setup. So as you guys can see, this dash is a huge upgrade over stock. Um, basically this video is gonna be going over the different features that this dash has, some of the different capabilities it has than the stock one. And I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion on if I think this is worth $1,200. Um, so let's just go ahead and jump right into it. And as always, guys, if you aren't subscribed already, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button for more awesome off-road content. So let's jump into some of the features this thing has. All right, so we're going to go over a few features that the dash kit comes with. So as you can see on the left-hand side, there is your fuel gauge, speedometer, RPMs, a cool graphics of a Jeep. Um, when you drive, the Jeep does actually look like it's driving down the road you have your compass and then you have your temperature on this side now there's a ton of different features this comes with so let's go ahead and scroll through them so to start you have your drive line now when you put it into four wheel drive i'll show you what it looks like and it shows you that your torque is now split between all four wheels versus just the two then when you go over to media it's where your music's going to be all that stuff you have navigation, um, it shows you the distance remaining to your destination, destination, all of that. Go over one more and you can actually adjust everything in your Jeep basically. So this tab is for maintain. So you have your transfer case oil, transmission oil and filter, brake fluid, power steering fluid, rear axle fluid, front axle fluid, cabin air filter, air filter, oil filter, um, all that good stuff and you can adjust how often you want to adjust it and it'll pop up with a little notification when you've reached that point So you'll never have to forget about that or forget when you last changed anything in your Jeep Go over one more and you're in the settings So we'll start at the top disregard all the different um, PSI's and all the tires I don't actually have TPMS sensors So mine's not going to show up accurate, but if you did have those this would show you all your tire pressures Fault codes that your Jeep may have, we don't have any right now. Car info, such as your coolant temperature, oil temperature, oil pressure, all that stuff. This one actually shows you the pitch and roll in degrees that your Jeep's sitting at currently, which is awesome for off-road. Fuel consumption, as you can see, not great in our Jeep, but it does show you we're getting 13.6 miles per gallon. Distance until empty. Um, you can set it for trip A, trip B your engine run time, you actually have a stopwatch on here, and then you can adjust the date and time. And then you go over to vehicle info and you can adjust it when you want your headlights to delay turn off once you turn your vehicle off, shut down delay time, headlight delay time, hill start assist, and there's a ton of different settings that you guys can mess with on here. This also actually came customized, this is Rocky JKU at the bottom, shows our average mile per gallon, and all that awesome stuff, such so as our trip distance and everything. So all together, this is a ton of different features. There's a ton of things you can change, edit, customize your own liking. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut back to a normal clip so you guys can see it during the day. All right, guys. So now that we've gone over some of the features this thing has, let's go over my opinion on it. All together, its quality is really, really good. I, um, I'm not, I wasn't expecting like perfect fitment on all the trim pieces um everything to work pretty much flawlessly it was a super simple install me and dylan from jeep guys online installed it in probably 20 25 minutes um i needed like i think a screwdriver or something simple like that but is it worth 1200 dollars? the big question and in my opinion if you're looking to refresh the inside of your jeep um get some new technology in there just update the interior of your jeep yes it is definitely worth the 1200 um, they do run sales from time to time. I think they have a Christmas sale going on right now for maybe two more days. And if they do, I'll go ahead and put that in the description with the link as well. So you guys can save a little bit of money if you want to pick one up. But this thing is, in my opinion, one of my favorite interior mods that I've done. Um, updated the entire look of the Jeep, updated the driving experience. It just made it look more modern and more, well, less like a 2008 Jeep Wrangler, honestly. So I'll give you guys one more look at this during the day. One thing to keep in mind, guys, is to disregard all the flickering. That's not at all flickering in real life. It's just the way that the camera captures the light. It happens with car headlights and things along those lines. Another cool thing you can see right now, since I don't have my car on, I just have the accessories on, is up here where the lights would be. This is where all your fault codes will be stored. 
And then you can also view the fault codes in the system itself, which is really cool. You don't need a scanner or anything like that to view any issues with your Jeep. So I think that's an awesome feature. In my opinion, definitely worth a $1,200 upgrade. It definitely upgrades the interior of your Jeep and just modernizes the whole thing. So like I said, guys, I'll link them down in the description. You guys can check them out for yourselves. If they do still have that sale going, I'll make sure to put that down there as well for you guys to save a couple dollars on that. And um, I'll also put their Instagram in the description. They were kind enough to send this over to us. So make sure you guys go drop them a follow. Tell them Rocky Alford sent you. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.